the 1970s. Um, I remember I, if he's here, so he may not be. Uh, Sir Andrew McFarland, president of the family uh, division, um, remarked to me that when he was sitting in a class of criminal law with uh, Lady Black, uh, now on the Supreme Court, Jill Black, uh, Tripps, um, uh, that uh, it was the night after a particular election. And Leo stopped the lecture on mens rea, of course he taught criminal law, and to say, oh, the country's, you know, going down the tubes. What a terrible result. A, la a, you know, a, a labor government, a labor government. Can you imagine how bad the Little did everyone know that the next elected labor prime minister would be his son. <laughs> With that, I want to introduce to the stage uh, the former prime minister, the Red Honorable Tony Blair, to make the presentation to me. and Gray for putting on the event this evening and, and welcome everyone. It's such a pleasure to see all the um, alumni of, of Durham University. And Tom, congratulations for what you're doing. It's, it's, uh, you're building up a great law school in Durham. I, I know you've just started, I think, a, a center for Chinese law as well, which is a great thing to do. So um, I'm delighted to see the, the law school thriving. And I can't tell you how proud my father would be that a prize is named after him. He would be really, really proud. And myself and my brother, my brother Bill, uh, Sir William Blair, um, respectable part of the family. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, we, are, we are both absolutely delighted to be here. Thank you for allowing me to, to, to make the presentation earlier this evening because I've got to go back and, and see a president. <laughs> Not that president. <laughs> uh, a president from Africa. <laughs> so, um, I just wanted to say these, these very few words. I mean, Durham played a huge part in our, our, our lives because uh, we were brought up in, in Durham. My father was a lecturer at the university there. Um, and I mean, I remember his, his room used to be just down from Castle Green. Um, and I often used to go in there and, and talk to him. And I used to mix uh, from time to time with the, the students as well. And it played a huge part in, in his life and in our life. And then there's something very special I wanted to tell you about Durham University in relation to my dad, because um, as Tom rightly pointed out, he was a conservative. <laughs> <laughs> he was actually about the only person who joined up to fight in the Second World War uh, as a socialist. Actually, he was at the time a communist. He'd been even a secretary of the young communists in, in <coughs> And whereas it seemed that the entirety of the rest of the armed forces went came out of the war <laughs> socialist. He came out of conservative. <laughs> <laughs> he always said to me, that's because he started a private and ended up as a major in the war. That's how you get on in life. So, um, so he, was, he, he was very politically ambitious, um, and he actually was going to stand as a conservative candidate in the 1964 election. And he was a practicing barrister as well as, well as a lecturer in law. And then, tragically, when I was 10 years old, he had a very serious stroke. Uh, he had to learn to speak again over a period of two or three years. Mm. And if it hadn't been for the university and the support that it gave you at that time, I mean, the family would have uh, would really have found it very hard to survive. So it's it's not just a place of special affection um, for us because we were brought out there and spent so much of our lives there, but because, you know, really it helped us as a family when we needed that help. And, you know, when people ask about the influence he had on us, well, my brother... Um, Lincoln's in as a barrister. Uh, my sister, actually, who unfortunately uh, can't be with us today, Lincoln's in as a barrister, now a legal publisher. I was a barrister, Lincoln's in, so I guess <laughs> <laughs> it's really one way or another. But one of the things that he, he taught me was the importance of the law. And one of the things I've learned <coughs> perhaps as much since leaving office as being in office is the importance of the law mm -hmm. and the importance of the rule of law. And mm -hmm. sometimes I think in societies like ours, we kind of take it for granted. But when I go in different parts of the world and I see where it doesn't exist, mm -hmm. I know how lucky we are to have it. Mm -hmm. So I think the study of the law is actually a, and you won't often hear this, but it's a noble thing. <laughs> uh, and I wanted to say a, a special word of, of, of thanks to, is it Maya? Mia. Mia. Mia, <laughs> Mia Purdy, who's, who wins this prize, because she's really done some extraordinary things, and winning boots, and that you've got the Denning Prize as well. 
Lord Benny, I used to, when I was a student, I mean, it wasn't always very socially progressive. The thing is, you can understand his judgments. That's what I remember. And I also was extremely kind, because I appeared in front of him twice when I was a barrister. And I always remember, because when you were a young lawyer, you used to get the, I don't know whether it still happens at the bar, where you get these returns, people get, you know, so the big cheeses in Chambers, right, they had a really bad case. They got kind of offloaded at the last <laughs> case. <laughs> and a couple of them got offloaded on me. And one experience was with Lord Denny, who was as polite as he could possibly be, and actually helped me through what was otherwise a very humiliating experience. <laughs> <laughs> a judge I will never forget called Lord Justice McGaw, and that was a very humiliating experience. <laughs> best lessons in life are taught by humiliation. So, <laughs> congratulations. You, you're obviously an absolute star student. Um, I am absolutely thrilled that you're going to be the first recipient of a prize named after my father. I know he would be really, really chuffed um, to have this done in his honour, and I wanted to say a huge thank you to you, to Durham, to all of you for coming here this evening. And now I'd be delighted to present the prize. Thank you very much. There you go. Yeah.